Hey everybody, this is Birch. Got a viewer question here that I think many of you can probably relate to, but it's 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 a misunderstanding between people is what is what it is. Anyway, the the mail goes like this. Hey Perch, uh, love your show. Thanks for everything you do. Although you post too many videos, that's fair. Uh, I was recently on Reddit having an argument. Okay, well there's your problem. In all seriousness, Reddit used to be uh, not uh, crappy, right? I don't know. I, my experiences had tanked. I, I used Reddit a lot for, um, I mean, kind of like Quora, where you could get um, technical answers on certain things. If you're building something, if you were trying to uh, produce something, it was a good place to, to get some information. Um, I guess I never spent too many times in the more fan areas. But in the last couple of years, going and looking through the comics stuff on Reddit, it's a nightmare. I mean, it's uh, you've got little dictators that kind of run boards and it's, it's not like, uh, I mean, it's just, just terrible. Just, just it, it, it very, I don't know. There, there's no good place for conversation. You have to go in, you have to say, this is what I believe. I believe this exact narrow thing. And if that narrow thing corresponds to whoever your mod is, then that, that's what you got. Or may, I may be overreacting, but I, I'm, I'm disappointed you read it. I'm, di yeah, I'm disappointed. You had one job conversation instead. It, it's, uh, it's, it's crap. I think a lot of people, I need to get back to this mail, but a lot of people exist under this uh, fear of um, if they don't police things, then it will turn into the worst possible version of whatever it, it might be. It's like, if we don't aggressively attack anyone who makes, uh, you know, if we don't aggressively attack anyone who does, who makes a sarcastic joke or comment, anything that disrupts on any level then it's going to turn immediately into a uh, militia breeding ground where uh, terrible, terrible things are happening. It's like there, there's there's no there's nothing between point A and, and Z. It's just we go we go directly there from if we do not enforce everything with an absolute iron fist, then uh, not not the character, then all hell will break loose. It will just it will immediately uh, apocalypse. Um, anyway, that, that's, that feels like what a lot of people, they, they always go to the worst possible idea, even though the likelihood that it gets there is, is actually very small. Um, unless you act like a crazy iron fisted di dictator and then people naturally want to resist you by, by going to extremes and then you create the thing. But anyway, sorry. <laughs> Argument on Reddit. Uh, let's, let's, where, where were we here? Sorry about that. Um, okay. Ah, I was complaining about certain things in comics. And before I got banned, see, every time, uh, before I got banned, people were telling me, uh, why do you always complain about comics? Don't you even like comics? And I was confused by the question. Of course I like comics because I'm buying the comics. I couldn't be talking about the plot details in the comic if I wasn't buying them. Because I'm buying them, I clearly like them. So why is it that people are telling me, don't you like anything about comics? Clearly I'm buying them, so I like them. Do you ever encounter this? And then mail goes on with uh, some some more personal stuff. So this is uh, this is a point that's come up before, and it's I think it's it's an argument technique on the surface. And this is basically when when you're in a debate with somebody, you you have your perspective. You're like, I think the Hulk could beat Superman, for example. We'll keep it very benign for a moment. Hulk could beat Superman. Okay, the person who's on the Hulk side is laying out their case. They're they're saying, well, you know. Hulk is strong. He gets the more angry he gets, the stronger he gets. And if Superman just keeps making him angry, he'll get even stronger and stronger. Eventually, he'll surpass Superman's strength. Plus, at that rage state, he won't care about destroying the world around him or any of that kind of stuff. Where Superman will be distracted by trying to save uh, civilians and other things. And so that's why the Hulk has an advantage. And the Superman person might come in and you know choose to say, well, but Superman can fly into space. There's a couple of ways that. Uh, he could outmaneuver as the Hulk gets stronger. He also gets dumber, whereas Superman would keep his wits about him. You could have a debate on that level. Or the person who's uh, defending Superman can choose a different route. And the different route they could choose is to say, well, you're just a Marvel zombie who loves everything Marvel, and you're uh, stupid because you won't even uh, admit that DC has good characters because you're so, uh, you know, so attached to Marvel that you won't even listen to reason. Okay? That path of argument is incredibly disingenuous. That's that's called the I don't have enough intelligence to actually make a case, so I'm just going to try and insult you 
uh, into submission. I'm going to try and diminish your argument by, by saying you're less in some way or you're dumb in some way. I'm going to attack your character. I'm going to attack um, <clears throat> different things around you as opposed to the core of your argument. And if you look on Twitter or Reddit or, or many of these places, that's how most of the arguments go. People don't want to put in the work into actually arguing the, the real point. So instead, they'll say things like, you know, why do you hate comics? Um, I've had, you know, of course, I, when I complain about things in comics, like I, I do the video of, uh, you know, I don't think Black Panther as the leader of the Avengers is helpful to Black Panther. I think it, the natural parts of his character are better served with a different role, and I think he'd have a higher profile and, you know, you know it'd be a better story. Now, some people did come at me and, and argue that, uh, well, why do, you, why do you just hate comics? And uh, again, it's, it's clearly a disingenuous argument. If um, you're making, uh, if, you're, if you're talking about comics, if you're talking about the Black Panther's current status, if you're talking about all these things, and clearly you're, you're caught up on comics. And unless you are an absolute, complete, and utter masochist, and you just voluntarily do things constantly that you hate because you hate life, then you must find some enjoyment in it. And clearly, I've done videos about how much I love comics. I love comics. I love them today. Every now and then, uh, by the way, the, the other sides, like, I don't see how you could love comics. They're all written by SJW. No, I, I still love comics. There are good comics out there. Lots of them. Not just back issues. Every week, there are good new comics, or at least comics I enjoy. I think there's different levels of good. I don't get too hung up in, is the comic uh, this week superior to the comic last week? What's the five-point grading scale I want to use to assess which comic is better than the other? I, I'm always finding something I can enjoy reading. Um, I, as in, with rare exceptions, and X-Men Green pushed me past a point where, uh, where I broke this rule, I tend to not go into the comics I find terrible. There always are terrible comics every week, too. It's not like they don't exist. There's, there's good ones, there's bad ones. I'm also very aware that some people that some people will like the bad comics. The comics I don't like, other people will like. That happens too. There will be people who hate the comics I like. That also happens. It's, that's the wonderful world of comics. Uh, but this is, uh, it, it's strange to me. Or it, again, it's not strange because it's, it's just disingenuous arguments. Um, why people decide to spend so much of their energy in their life um, wanting to get into somebody else's business. If you are on a you know, message board or social media account or wherever, and you're talking about comics and you're complaining about something, um, people have a choice. They can you know, engage with you and, and have a spirited debate. They can um, just ignore you. you know, it's, it's very easy to click and then you see something else. Very easy. And at the end of the day, by the way, anyone who's, uh, and I'll use another internet term I hate, uh, clutching their pearls at how negative you are, um, understand that there is a part of them that absolutely is in on it. They, they want to be involved in this. As much as they're like, oh, I can't stand all this negativity. If you can't stand it, then click, one click, you're somewhere else. It's amazing how the internet works. Amazing. It's actually much harder to get away from negativity in a comic shop because you're probably in there buying comics or looking through things and you've got some person at the counter who's been bitching for the last 10 minutes. And, you know, if you want your comics, you're going to have to kind of tune him out somehow. On the Internet, super easy, barely an inconvenience on your phone, on wherever it happens to be. Really simple to ignore that stuff. And so anyone who's uh, deciding to use the argument approach of, I don't understand why you have to be so negative. All this negativity sometimes. You're so negative to even like comics. I don't know. That person is lying to themselves and to everyone else. They're putting on a persona. That persona is, I don't, uh, I don't have a good intelligent argument against what you're saying queued up. So I'm basically going to say that uh, you're, you're just wrong because reasons, because you're, you're, you're negative. Most of the people who complain about comics with substance, and I'll get more to that in a second, um, they, they actually love comics. In many cases, probably more than the casual viewers watching this stuff. A lot of the people who go into in-depth conversations about storylines and which character could beat who, and, and is this the right 
a- aspect of, of comics and do you like this Avengers roster better than the last Avengers roster? Those people are invested. They're in. And they've been in for years. And it's not a competition of, of, of who loves the comic more, but it is definitely unfair and ridiculous to claim that those people somehow hate comics. Now, I said that there was a, there's a caveat, there's an asterisk to this. Definitely, there are a handful of people whose primary enjoyment in the sport is to crap on other things. Absolutely. Um, there, you know, the, the person, and, and yes, there are those who decide to uh, set up, you know, 100 dummy accounts so for the sole purpose of being able to review bomb something on Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, that person is not enjoying the movie and, and just commenting fairly. That person has, has moved to a different form of enjoyment, which is screwing with others. And definitely those people exist too. But they're, they're really easy to spot almost every time. They're very easy to spot. It is uh, it th- the person who's going to be talking about uh, you know She Hulk and what iteration of She Hulk they like the best and you know back when she used to break the third wall and then when they had the more in depth legal proceedings uh, with uh, Dan Slott uh, when he was writing the title and then there's that whole thing with Star Fox and all that kind of, the person who's who's laying out that case and going into those details and and saying, I don't like the current version because it's, you know, it's the, the hulky She-Hulk monster version sucks. Uh, that's not somebody who hates comics. Clearly, that's somebody who's invested a lot of their time into comics. The people who come in and say things like, no woman should ever be on the Avengers. That person's an idiot. That person's also revealing that they've, they don't read comics because there's been women on the Avengers all the time. But... Those people are, are, and I hate to say it, those are far more far, far and few between. There's less of those people. You can spot them quickly. Most people tune out of just absurd, dumb nonsense. You just tune out or you dunk on it. But I mean, th- those, those things don't take on a life of their own. I'll tell you, anyone who uh, has a YouTube channel <laughs> with thousands of videos on comics clearly loves comics. Uh, guilty. Um, and, uh, I think if you're, if you're going into a conversation again, unless you're, pu- and, and we should all stop pretending like they, like we have to do a lot of detective sleuthing to determine if something is a, a legitimate comment or not. Everybody knows it's, it's not that hard. I, or, or maybe I also take it on face value. People accuse me of being naive for absolutely the wrong things at different times, but maybe in this one area, I am naive. I like to believe that most people coming into the conversation are doing it on the level. They just want to talk about comics, communicate, connect in some way, some fashion. That's what they're after. And more power to them. And if somebody shows up and they, they're like, nope, I was wrong. This person's a maniac. It's very easy to just, all right, click. And now I don't deal with it. Very easy. I, I, I don't know what to tell you, you know. <laughs> I, I think that, that, like I said at the beginning, um, the, the phrase, you don't like comics as a rebuttal to somebody's point, is tossed around way too often. And it's the, the, the entire reason that's done is just the person has no idea of what they're talking about. They have no idea of how to, to counter what's being said. And so they, you know, lowest common denominator. That's it. It's uh, you, you dumb bad. Me, me, me feel uncomfortable. That's all you got. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just going to the wrong places on Reddit. It's possible. I, let me know in the comments below. Maybe there's glory areas of Reddit. I just, uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for the viewer question. If you have them, please send them in. I've got no joke. Uh, about three to four hundred questions queued up. So one of these days, I'm just going to sit down for like three hours and I'm just going to bang a bunch of them out, um, one right after the next. So I'm I'm working through it, slow but sure. This one was from August. Yay. Thanks for listening.